when you expose the port 3100 Grafana Loki. It has no authentication, it has no encryption, and it's not stopping anyone from just connecting to this service and gather all the log files from your system. So I think it is a good idea to secure this connection. And the first step to secure this is remove the ports part. When the traffic reverse proxy is running on the same Docker host, you can just easily uncomment these lines here. Make sure that you set the network front end according to your Docker network where traffic is running. And then of course I want to enable TLS. I want to issue a new trusted TLS certificate. We are using an encrypted tunnel to send the logs to so no one in between can sniff the log files that we're sending, but anyone can still connect to Grafana Loki and gather all the log files that we are sending. And this might be a big security issue because some services and application might log weird things, right? So some might expose credentials in debug logs. And of course, we're not stopping anyone from just connecting to Grafana Loki and collecting this stuff or sending a million log files to our system and break it. So therefore, I think it is good to have a strong and secure authentication. The authentic um, proxy outpost that we've covered in my last authentic tutorial, this also can be used for HTTP basic authentication. So you cannot just use it with a login form. You can also implement a secure machine to machine authentication. What does machine to machine authentication mean? Actually pretty simple. When you want to send logs from one machine to another machine, but the machine that sends the logs has to be authenticated with a token or with a username and password. And this is also pretty easily possible in Authentic. 